Uh, I'm not going to get too far into this, but why would there be flags all over the backyard? Because construction is beginning. Oh, wow, she is moving. Look at this. <laughs> now wait a minute before we jump into this video i gotta give a big shout out to today's sponsor of this video the ridge man ridge wallet boom right there titanium this is my favorite most favorite wallet my second favorite is the carbon fiber look at this beautifully constructed sleek industrial slim modernized minimalized wallet guys let's be realistic here most of you are carrying an 1890s version of a wallet right you got that big leather there's some people i know personally that still have that giant wallet it got receipts from 20 years ago in it you got hotel key cards from before you were married you don't need those guys time to move on up step your game up to the ridge look at that burnt titanium right there look you keep your money in your money clip right here okay boom you need money it's right there it's it's in the money clip boom you want to put it back bingo there you go there's a nice little cutout over here you push this button in look all your cards ready to access boom all of them you can just kind of fan through what you need what you don't need slide it back goes in your front pocket yeah front pocket did i say that front pocket look guys you, you ever you ever on a road trip and you got your wallet in your back pocket and it starts giving you an ache in your butt, right? You don't have to worry about it. Keep this in your front pocket. Get rid of that old thing. I, too, was skeptical at first because I was like, there's no way I could fit everything in my wallet into this. And I was absolutely right. There was no way. But I also realized I didn't need anything in my wallet other than some cash Ola and my cards and my driver's license. All of that fits perfectly into here, guys. You don't need to be carrying around those old receipts and gifts, gift cards, hotel keys, and all that other stuff. Listen, you don't carry around an old school flip phone anymore, right? You carry around a smartphone. Why are you still carrying around your old wallet? Look how beautiful this is. It holds up to 12 cards, plus there's room for your cash. There's over 30 colors and styles, including carbon fiber and burnt titanium. You don't have to take my word for it, guys. Over 30,000 five-star reviews on this bad boy. It's durable. It comes with a lifetime warranty, so you can buy one wallet and own it for life. Now, I like to change things up a little bit, so you can always go and, you know, swap them out. But each one of these, lifetime warranty, guys, how are you going to beat that? The Ridge is so confident you're going to like it, that you're going to love it, that they'll give you a test drive for 45 days. You can send it back for a full refund if you don't like it. Are you serious? Who else is going to give you that kind of warranty on something like this? So listen, guys. Get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping by going to www.ridge.com slash AAR. That's www.ridge.com slash AAR. Use code AAR to get 10% off again, free worldwide shipping. Big shout out. Thank you to Ridge for sponsoring this video. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. Today, we are going to pick up probably something you guys are going to absolutely love or you're going to hate it it's an old school cadillac not too old school but it's old school for me it's a 1990 cadillac sedan deville which means it's still got the side skirts that go over the tires man it's it looked good in the pictures i did not go check it out it's sight unseen listed as a run and drive i don't know man it's got 130 like 5,000 miles I, I bought it for 500 buy it now mm. came out to a little over seven it was 720 something out the door with fees I figure, hey, for 700 bucks, a running driving Cadillac, and look, it's not a North Star. I, I've already seen comments on, oh, the North Star. It's the, they didn't have a North Star in 1990, guys. This is the 4.5 liter port fuel injected. Or wait, was that PFI? Yes. Or was it CFI? No, it was PFI. PFI? Yeah, I think it's PFI. This should be, it should be a solid car. I got a Carfax in the house showing dealer service again almost its whole life with transmission service, coolant service, brake service, like this car even recently was sent for some really good service. So I think we're gonna be able to get it and drive it. In fact, I'm so sure of it. You'll see we got the Ram over there and there's no trailer. The trailer is over there. Mm -hmm. I'm not taking the trailer guys. 
I'm gonna get in, I'm gonna try to drive it back home like we used to do before we got the trailer. Mm. We're gonna go old school with it, jump in and just go. And if, if it doesn't work out, we can come back with the trailer later. <laughs> we, got, we got a couple familiar faces here today. We got TK from TK's Garage, Lucky's Wheels and Deals. <laughs> yeah. Yep, so definitely go check them out. Links in the description, links in the comment section. TK's Garage, Lucky's Lucky Wheels Bro and Deals. Deals? He's, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let me do it one more time. Do it, do it again. Lucky's Wheels and yeah. Deals! We're back with another lit video y'all yeah, yeah, and today yeah. we're hey, buying yeah, an yeah. old five hundred dollar cadillac yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. but hey before we go any further he's got to take this out on the test drive guys so let's ju let's jump to him getting in this thing and take he's never driven the hellcat for so he's gonna get in he's gonna take this thing for a drive and then we're gonna get his reaction all right guys be before we get out of here we got Lucky's Wheels and Deals over here. They trying to convert me over, y'all. <laughs> We're trying to get him to give up the Chevy and go get him a, a Mopar. He, it might happen. He's going to take this thing for a ride real quick. Just cut the wheels oh, a little man. bit to the left and you're good, man. All right. There you go. Like yeah, you're good. Lucky in a Hellcat. Lucky in a Hellcat. <laughs> she got the e-brake on? There you go. There it goes. <laughs> man, it, <laughs> man, hey, why you do this to me, man? You why need you, one, right? Yeah, I want one. Oh. Why, why you turn me out like this? I'm, <laughs> I'm talking about, I'm a Chevy guy, and I ain't never even drove one of these. I'm talking all that Chevy shit, and I ain't never drove one. I was, too. Oh and then God, I got I the lemon. Chevy, forget a Mopar. I'm like, I'm like, Man, I see why everyone jumped yeah. on the bandwagon. Yeah. yeah. And for the price you get these for and the power. It's ridiculous. Oh, Sixty-eight thousand dollars for one of these, man. What's your, what's a brand new Z06 cost? Hundred thousand. Yeah, hundred thousand. You cannot beat the yeah. car for the money. You can't. And, and this thing, I think, would give a Z06 a run for its yeah. money. I, I, I really think I it think would. So man, look. So. Man. Lucky approves. Lucky approves. Why you <laughs> Coming soon, Lucky trades in his Z06 yeah. and his Malibu and his yeah. Impala yeah. for a new Hellcat. <laughs> Picture it. Picture it. Okay, so you had Omi in a Hellcat. Yep. Now you're going to have Lucky. But Omi's not in a Hellcat anymore. No. So now, what about Lucky in a Hellcat? That sounds good. That sounds good. Lucky in a Hellcat. He's, he he's in there finishing his yeah, video. <laughs> man. Man. It's the same reaction. Like, it, it, people talk yeah. trash. You know, people that jump. Mopar sucks. I don't like Mopar. It's a Fiat. Trust, trust me. This is not a Fiat. Not a <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep. We, we get him in a Hellcat. I'll get the red eye out. You have yours. And then oh, we'll yeah. have all three Hellcats lined up. Yeah. Yeah. See, now we just got to get you in a Hellcat, bro. We have yeah. all of our Hellcats lined up. <laughs> See, think about the name Lucky in a Hellcat. Oh. Omi in a Hellcat was good, but I think Lucky in a Hellcat yeah. sounds even better. Oh, yeah. It does. Yeah? Lucky yeah? Hellcat. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing now? Now I'm gonna be looking online. Let me see if I can find one. Can I find one? Let yep. me trade in my bag. I found several of them. Oh, yeah. The one in North Carolina is still 46. It's still available. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah. What I year found. What was that? It was, uh, 15 to 19? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, why you do that? <laughs> that car is fun. Yeah. It's out of gas too. Yes, yeah, out of gas too. I, I drive all the way there, even went all the way down, uh, down the uh, to the main street and came back around. Like, oh, yeah. Man, this thing is fast. Like, oh. you get there quick. When I was driving you here, it, it took longer yeah. to get over here. But when I was like, damn, I made it back over there like quick. Yeah. It's always out of gas though. That's yeah. that's the so only yes yeah, oh, the yeah. only downside well, on to it. On the highway, you can get to twenty. Yeah, we we got it up to twenty two miles a gallon just gently yeah. cruising with it and but if and it's comfortable you know? that's it's comfortable. It, that is what i found is and i i still love my corvette yeah but i kind of got to fall into it and fall then you got to kind of climb out of it yeah. with this it's like a full-size car you just open the door and sit down yeah it's got a it's got a big uh, <laughs> it's got a it's got a big ass it's a big car guys i don't know how well that comes out on camera but like it's 
it is a big car. My subscribers will be like, are you still talking about that damn Hellcat? Yes. That's, <laughs> Yes. Doesn't matter what video yep. I'm making, it's always something about the Hellcat. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking about the Hellcat now, guys. But you had to see his reaction to it. Yeah. You I, had I to. Love it. I love it, man. All right, so now we're gonna go pick up this latest car from uh, from IA. Yeah. yeah, new Cadillac. Let's go get it. Yep. All right, guys, we made it to IAA. I already paid for it, so it really shouldn't be anything left to do. Just go inside, tell them to bring it out, and. I don't know. I guess I'm going to try to drive it. Man, look, traffic out here is bad, too. You can tell things are starting to open back up again, man. It's getting uh, it's getting rough. But, yeah, we're here. We're at IA. We're going to go in here, do the paperwork, get this thing brought out, and I'm going to try to drive <laughs> a 1990 Cadillac DeVille. All the way back. Man, that's a... Uh, to AR headquarters is a... Uh, well, that's over an hour drive. 58 miles. Here we go. All right, guys, you're not going to believe this. This is an original title from 1990 when it had 29 miles on the odometer. Now, I'm not going to give out the owner's name or address, but uh, the name, Steve or Velma. So you can tell these are probably some older people bought this brand new in 1990 for $30,000. This is a single owner car, guys, with an amazing Carfax history report on it. This thing is a hell of a score, a hell of a score. 500 bucks, seven and change out the door. I have, I have almost no doubts right now that that car is gonna drive back. Oh, what the hell? Who brought this ugly ass Chevy out here, man? Oh my God. And another Chevy right behind, God. Okay, I can't lie, I love, the, I love this car, man, I do, I do. You gotta, you, you guys gotta get these stickers, man. Yeah, I've never seen it in person. I've never seen it in person. Yeah. Hey, where, where's the Melly's World decals? Melly's World is pretty new, so I don't know. Lucky's Wheels and Deals, Lucky's Wheels and Deals, Lucky's Wheels and Deals, Lucky's Wheels, where's Melly's World? You need to scratch that off. Scratch that off. Put Melly's World on this one. Yeah, you might, uh, they said they were saying don't take off the sides, but change this and then in the front and back and but leave the sides on. Right? Yeah, yeah. Man, this is sick. You got the the stickers and everything oh, on yeah. here, man. So they don't come off, huh? Uh, like they stay on there pretty good. Yeah. I like that. I, be, I bet most of my viewers have never seen anything like. You gotta, you gotta put maybe. Uh, I'm still not sold on Hell Kitty, uh, because I feel like Hell Kitty is a little. No, let them feminine, say whatever, you know, Hell Kitty. It's, it's alright. Let them say whatever they want. They still I, gonna buy that shit. I got some new merch. So in the in the link below, man, just look below the video. I got some new merch. Uh oh. Yeah, this is this this is hot. And this is not your average Chevy SS either. This is supercharged, right? Oh yeah. 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 This is not your average everyday. You can see number one, it's lowered. It's definitely sitting lower, <laughs> and it's got a supercharger. Look at the brakes, man. Brembo brakes, drilled, slotted rotors. Look at that exhaust, man. This, this thing is sick. Okay, I don't like the Chevy SS. I've never cared for it, but this one-off version of it, this is how it should have come from the factory, man. the chrome. It looks like a pop yeah. light out, blacked out the this chrome. This is how it should be. Blacked out the chrome, the, all the chrome that go around all this, all blacked so out. So did y'all paint, have this painted? No, it's, we bought the, then it's bought the kit. Someone had already the modded it, man. It's Someone got, modded you, the whole thing. You got your catch can, can right here. Supercharged. Look at that, man. man. Yeah, supercharged. That's a big deal right here, yeah. man. This is what makes this completely different from yeah, the stock version of this. Long two-headed, boiler exhaust. And they can see this every day by following her channel. Melly's World. It's on Lucky. He Lucky drives yeah, it sometimes yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. I see him out yeah, in yeah, it sometimes right. too. Drive us some more, so this, this is her daily car though. She yeah, it yeah. Daily. <laughs> but look it. Jessica's gonna be he jealous can drive now. Drive it some more, so when he goes ahead and tears it up, I can E85 it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on this guy's expense. Yeah. Just like the tires. Hey, just like the hey, tires. No, I don't got money like that. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Why Why is it I don't believe you? Let me get that back I don't know. <laughs> Actually, pretty good at that. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man.
more. And it came like this. Whoa! Whoa! I forgot all about my 1990 Cadillac. Yes! Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're here. To, we're supposed to be picking up a, a Cadillac. Look at this. Wow. Yeah, we're trading the Hellcat in, guys. Oh, wow. We're trading the Hellcat in. Next week, Chevy SS is going to be where the Hellcat's parked. Oh, <laughs> Damn, this thing is loud. That is me. Look, y'all, go check out Melly's World on YouTube. I have a link yeah, in the description. Lucky's Wheels and Lucky's Deals in the description. Yeah. TK's Garage in the description. There's the Cadillac right there, guys. Oh. It doesn't look beat up too bad. Looks good. That actually looks pretty good, man. What's going on with the back bumper or the? Uh, that's weird. Yeah, that's. It's pushed in. What is that? That's why it's here. It got hit in the rear. Look at the exhaust. It's pushed. The bumper's pushed in. So the bumper's pushed in here. But this is a clean title. It's not wrecked. Right. So okay. This is a donation. Well, you can put a chain on it and just pull it. Yeah, out. it's got the shock down there. Yeah, GMs use these shock absorbers behind the bumper, and I would almost bet. Uh, I'm telling you, it wasn't like that in the pictures. Nope. It was not like that in the pictures. So it's one of those things. They picked it up and it hit the rear. Yeah, they picked it up and it. Uh, it's missing one of these. That may have been like that, and I do know there was a light scrape. Oh, the front got pushed in too. The front's pushed in too. Look at it at the tire. It wasn't like that. There was a scrape on this side. That was there. Oh, you know what though? This is a. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, the bumper is pushed in. Yes. I think that one of them guys did something. Hold on. That, that's how it goes though, guys. Like, I mean, you got to take the good with the bad. Oh, see. Oh, and there it goes. Damn. He's a, that's beast mode right there, man. Yeah. It's bruh. <laughs> Look, hey, it's fixed. Oh, did I just do that to the back right, bumper? That was, that was a, a five. Let's see if it works. That was only a, a two minute repair. There you go. <laughs> rebuilt rebuilt right here right in the up. parking lot, man. Rebuild. Can you tell her I've seen my wife in a couple of weeks? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see yeah, let, let's see if he can pop this one out, man. Yeah, I bet this is going to be a little harder. Let's see if I can get a hernia. Cause it is just a, it's a shock absorber under there, but I bet that one's gonna be a lot harder. Yeah, yeah, that's a wrap on that one. We'll, we'll be we'll be able to get. You know what we'll do? We'll put the envoy up to it with a strap, drag it right and out, and just boom, hit it, pop it right out. As long as we don't rip straight. the bumpers off. And look, it's got those old school skirts, man. I love these on the old '60s Cadillacs. Most of y'all probably don't remember, but in the '60s, the Cadillacs, these things came all the way down. Man, like it barely showed. They were sexy cars. There's a door stopper in this window. Which means the regulator. So, yeah, the regulator. Oh, it comes with a box of stuff. The center caps are in there. Nice. Oh, man, it's clean. Yeah. It, it smells all right. We've got spider webs all under the seats. Been sitting for a while. Oh, there's a package. What is this? Money. Yes, American nice. can cars for oh it's American cars for kids. Oh, that's where it came from. So yeah, donation. I told you it's a charity. Oh, there's nothing in it. It's just it's empty. It's an empty, empty package. You got we, an upgraded stereo. The owner's manual. It's actually in nice shape. Like this is, this is nice. Yeah. We'll get that bumper pulled out probably in this video, guys. I'll bet it starts right up. I'll bet it does. All right, let's see. Oh, wow. Well, let's start. Oh, I might not sell this. Keep it, bro. Look, Classic. four sets of keys. Oh, man. All the gold keys, too, man. <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah. Yeah, now, air conditioning. I guarantee the AC works because it just had the AC serviced. Straighten the wheel out. I want to see if it's off. Oh, wow. Hopefully it ain't that bad. Yeah, no, it's straight. Okay. <laughs> I, <was laughs> if like, it, wait, if I turned it, it upside down and I was like, oh, that's bad. If it's upside down, that's real bad. Perfect. Yeah, I heard it oh, kick it's on. Got the full digital and everything. Yeah. That's nice. All right, so we got... I think it's on. 
I don't know how to how to turn the uh It's got a loose 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 pipe in the rear. I think it may have a slight Ooh, misfire. No, there it goes, it's clearing up. No, there it's where's the gas at? Zero my nine gallons of gas. First thing I probably do is put some fresh gas in it. It's probably been sitting range? a while. Uh, yeah, it's got range. Ashtray never used. The XT is getting cold now. Look at these. Never used, man. Look at that. Nice. Never used. Never been smoked in. The AC is getting cold. Does this window work? This is really the only got a important one. That's right by your leg. Oh yeah. Window works. This is decent, man. Looks good. Yeah. Oh, wow. I'd be surprised if a center cap would fit with that CV axle coming out of it like that. Oh. Oh. And this is not a North Star. No, not a North Star, guys. It's got a re recent battery, too. A lot of them guys think all Cadillacs come with North Star. No, man. North Star wasn't out till like, 94. Yeah. And that was only, I think, in the Elante. On the, yeah. the Elante or whatever. I hear the compressor kicking in. Everything under here, it needs a good cleaning. But everything under here looks good. Yep, there's that 4.5 liter right there. I'll check the, uh, hold it up for me. Why is the hood white underneath? But the car is blue. And this is red. It's been, it's been repaired, painted. But it still has a clear title. And look at the fender, see where it's red on the Yep, yep, it's red. But the car has a clear title and a clean Carfax with no accident history, which is why I tell you guys, you can't always trust a Carfax report, man. This car obviously was in a collision involving this side and the front, and it wasn't reported. Yeah, and the hood too. So the transmission fluid looks good. The engine's running relatively well. The oil looks fairly clean got newer plug wires so someone's done a someone's done a tune-up to it newer battery all right the tires yeah Goodyear assurance tires with really good tread and they match back here and they match over here too yeah so it's got four matching tires four Goodyear assurance tires and they all have good tread on them so that's a wrap, man. It's like I said, it's not perfect, but keep in mind, guys, this was a $500 car, huh? $200 yeah. Probably, yeah. $200 those, this is, you're lucky to even find those on these cars, or normally people snatch them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys. The next thing to do is to get it on the road, and let's see if it's going to make the trip about an hour drive on the interstate, all the way down to AR headquarters. All right, guys. So we're about to get up out of here. Melly's world is taking off in the Chevy SS right there. Here it goes. Oh my God, that thing is loud. Oh wow, she is moving. Look at this. Melly's world, y'all. <laughs> oh wow. All right, guys, it is the moment of truth. Does it run and drive? We're gonna find out right now. About to take this thing out for its first uh, its first drive. Man, one owner though. I, I think it's gonna be all right, guys. I do, I think it's gonna be all right. Let's get it out here and find out. Will it shift? It actually runs great. Oh, wow. Ooh, torquey. It shifted, it shifted. Oh man, guys, this thing rides like a dream. Oh man, it's like riding on a cloud, guys. Oh my goodness, we're going to get on the highway here in just a second. This is crazy. This is crazy. Uh, I don't, I, I'll be, look, I say this about every damn car because I just, I love cars, guys. But I don't want to get rid of this one. Ooh. <laughs> oh wow 
good old good old Cadillac man the old 4.5 the predecessor to the 4.9 liter these were always known for being torquey torquey motors man oh she shifts fine she shifts just fine oh man come on we're just getting up to speed and then we get we get railroaded by a damn by a damn semi truck well that answers that question guys does it run and drive yeah it runs and drives runs and drives great does the cruise control work let's uh hold on i got the cruise control on let's set it to 50 and see cruise yes the cruise control is working it's actually running at 48 Oh, there's a motorcycle cop right there. That's why everybody's going so damn slow. Look at this, 39 miles a gallon, guys. This is insane. We got the Ram behind us right there. Hopefully, you can see the Ram. Headliner's coming down a little bit. I still say, guys, for an old classic Cadillac that runs and drives straight, uh, good tires, cold air conditioning, look, it may not be perfect on the interior or the body. This is a $1,500 car all day. All day, guys. $1,500 car all day long so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to stop lucky and tk and i are going to get some uh some fat boys oh, wait, wait we don't have we don't have fat burgers out here but we're going to stop at five guys that's the next best thing grab us some burgers then we're going to make that long trip down to ar headquarters and see if this bad boy is going to make it comment below right now do you think the sedan deville is going to make it all the way down to ar headquarters we're gonna fill up with gas, fresh, premium, unleaded fuel, and we're gonna to try to make it all the way back to where this thing is gonna sit for the next few days until we figure out what we're gonna do with it. Guys, we made it to my favorite spot, five guys, and we did it all while maintaining 20.4 miles a gallon in the Cadillac. 20.4 miles a gallon. That is running a little rough, but she gets down the road just fine. We're gonna get some, get some lunch put some fresh fuel in this thing and then we'll find out if it's going to make this long trip truthfully i've been on it at 75 miles an hour guys she's been doing great so i have no doubt she's going to get us where we need to go well guys we're halfway well no we're not this isn't halfway there this is hours later because we literally went and stopped at five guys with luck we sat down ate for about an hour came back out then we stopped and got gas but it's getting about 23 miles a gallon right now it was running a little rough but it's it's not no issues like no check engine light nothing like it is running and driving very well i suspect it probably hasn't been driven in a long time uh even the exhaust was smelling kind of you know Fuel. yeah like it smelled like it had some bad gas in it. so we filled it up with 91 octane and now we're going to drive it about another 60 miles it looks good guys we just got to pull that back out I don't anticipate doing much of anything to this car other than selling it. And I think that's kind of the goal here is to show you how you can pick something like this up. I've done this before. Uh, some of you people have been around a while, you know. But I think this one, the headliner is sagging. I'll go to AutoZone and get some of those headliner tacks. They got special tacks to hold the headliner up. We'll tack the headliner up, put the center caps on, clean it, vacuum it out, give it a bath, clean the wheels and tires, try to put the center caps on, pull this bumper out, but as far as spending money on it, we're not gonna we're not gonna really spend anything on it. Everything that I'm gonna do to this can be done without spending a dime. Washing it, cleaning the wheels and tires, vacuuming it out doesn't cost a thing, guys. Pulling that bumper out, that's free. Hook a chain to it or something, and just kind of give it a good little tug. Pull that sucker right back out. Doesn't cost any. The only thing we're gonna really spend on it is uh, the headliner tax strips or tax or whatever. They're like three or four bucks. That's it. And then once it's all cleaned up. We send it down to Weird Beard, and up for sale it goes. Man, it should be a $1,500 car cleaned up and everything. I see no reason why this car can't bring us $1,500. The AC works. It's still R12, but it wasn't ice cold. It was very cool, but not ice cold. So it's definitely going to need a shot of R12 if you can even find it probably truthfully needs to be converted r134 if you think we're doing that here nope not happening we're not finding the missing panel back here someone else can do that we're just going to put it up try to get about 1500 out of it see what weird beard thinks if he can, if he thinks he can swing it 
and he can give me $1,500 for it, this thing is going down the road. And I'll show you guys how we literally more than doubled our money with like nothing. Yep. Double your money, just buy a car, send it, double your money, just like that. So next, we're gonna get this thing down to AR headquarters. It's about another 50, 60 mile drive. And uh, as you can see, it's getting, it's getting rowdy. Mm -hmm. I thought about getting a license plate for the Hellcat said rowdy. That's what I was thinking. Rowdy. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it, but you can see the sky out here is getting kind of, yeah, she's thinking about doing something. So I really don't want to get caught in it. I need to get that Hellcat back in the garage. So let's get out of here, see if this thing makes it. Let's see what kind of fuel economy it gets and see if it runs any better by the time we get down there with that full tank of fresh 91. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we made it to ARHQ. Hopefully you can see this here. We have put, let me see if I can get you guys in there. We put 89 miles on this car since we bought it earlier today, and we have averaged 25 miles a gallon, still on a full tank. She's not running a whole lot better. I wish she was, so it could be an issue other than fuel, but also keep in mind the Chevy Cavalier over there way over there you know that thing ran rough for about a week or two before it finally started clearing up because that car had sat for so long with bad gas in it so it may just be a thing if it needs to be run for a while there it is it made it all highway 75 miles an hour it did fine now i don't know if i'm going to be able to knock this out in this video because things down here are getting kind of sketchy you can definitely hear that misfire it clears up when you uh, give it a little gas. So, I mean, I know right now it sounds like, you listen to that. She sounds right, but you give it a little bit of gas, it clears right, it's basically just like the Cavalier, exactly like the Cavalier. I think it's a GM thing, man. Yeah, let's give it a little bit of gas. You'll hear it clear up. See? Yeah, sounds relatively good. It's definitely got a light misfire. Could need a tune-up too, guys. It may be, it may have a spark plug that needs to be replaced or a plug wire. I don't know. Maybe it's something I'll look into, but truthfully, I'm not really feeling like digging too far into this car. What I would like to do, though, is try to pop that bumper out, if at all possible. And uh, let's take a look and see how, uh, how TK's Oldsmobile is doing out here. Boy, look at these trees that got cut down. We got so much more to do. I think old boy's coming out tomorrow to cut. Uh, he's taking all these trees down. He's taking all of these and trimming them all up. We're gonna open up a lot of space out here, guys. A lot of space. Actually, this looks pretty decent, man. This thing was smashed, if y'all remember. This was smashed hard right here. It needs the hood. Looks like the bumper needs a couple bolts put back in it. Yeah, he's got to put. The, but he's got to he's got to tighten these for the up bumper. Side. Yep. And then yeah, not bad. The rest, like everything else, lined up. You can see where this. Yeah. You can see where this it didn't got line up back. quite right. Yeah. See how this is pushed back. And I yeah. was looking at it like, is the fan gonna be? And I looked at everything. Looks like it's fine. It's clear. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. It's just it's a, just a cheap little car, man can't expect too much there it is guys that's looking good the cavalier i'd actually like to get out here go grab the key and start this up maybe we can take that for a spin maybe we'll take the cobalt for a spin before it gets dark hell i'd like to take the marauder for a spin too i don't know i don't know guys i don't know if we got enough time for all that you think this guy's gonna open up? i don't know man i don't know yeah, maybe we ought to save that for another video, guys. I don't know. Boy, I bet if I'm doing a premiere right now, I guarantee everybody's like, no, do it, Randy, come on. But it's like, to get all these cars out, man, the Marauder is way up here. The Cobalt SS is over here. It's just, it's a, it's a lot of moving stuff around just to get these cars out, man. Now, the Cavalier, Cavalier should be relatively straightforward to get out. And we can see how it's running. And if nothing else, we can at least fire this up. We can fire the Marauder up. So I'm gonna grab some keys. Let's see what these things sound like. All right, guys, I'm telling you, I feel like there's some weather coming this way, man. We'll go, boy, I can't wait to get this down to uh, to Weird Beard so he can get started uh, doing the body work so we can get it into paint. Yeah, yeah, I know. 
cold start guys <laughs> this thing hasn't been running in a while just been sitting out here collecting dust oh yeah it's dead it's dead wow yeah it's dead is the booster pack in the truck should be yeah Ugh. Well, in all fairness, guys, like I said, these cars have been sitting for a while. Oh. Yeah. Okay, guys. Let's do this. Let's see if the Marauder will start. I know that the Marauder is missing a... Uh, I need to pop this trunk. Let's see if... No, I took out the... Uh, I took out the window switch in this. And honestly, I can't remember where I put it. You see, I took the window switch out because it was acting flaky. I took it out. It's gotta be in one of these cars. So I'll find I'm not gonna do that on video. That's not important. But there's the Marauder. The main thing is, let's see. Let's see if we get the Marauder to fire up, man. Here we go, you ready? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And the Marauder too. Hadn't been run in quite some time, guys. Hear that air compressor airing it up? Yep. Oh, man. I love this car, guys. I do. I need to take this. I got to come out here sometime, guys. We'll come out here in another video. We'll take some of these cars for a spin. Get them back up and down the road again. Just when we get the fluids circulating and... You know, take a moment to enjoy some of these old, old cars of ours. Oh, I think it's absolutely beautiful, guys. And it's filthy. This car is absolutely disgustingly filthy. The paint is filthy. And even filthy, she still looks absolutely beautiful and sexy, guys. All right, I'm going to go over here. Let's find this booster pack. And let's get this uh, Cobalt SS fired up. All right, guys. Looks like it's got a nice little charge on it now. I think we should be able to fire it up this time. Oh, it smells like new tires in here. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Right up, man. Right up. Yeah. Turn that radio down. Man, guys. This one is, this is so nice. Roll the windows down because I don't want to lock my keys in it. I've done it before. Put it back Ooh. in front? Yeah. Oh, it sounds good, man. This is a healthy car right here. It really is. Especially with that uh, timing chain being replaced in this. That's a huge deal on these cars. Listen to that. Listen to her purr. Purrs like a kitten, man. Yeah, this this is one of my best scores yet. I think the Mercedes S430 was another one of my great scores. And depending upon oh, there's the uh, there's the damn Marauder switch right there. All right. There it is, man. I was worried about there. There's only one more thing I'm listed, missing. One of my dealer plates. If I can get this lifter unstuck in its Denali. This will be yet another amazing score. Like, I've actually been picking up some really good scores lately, guys. This one was a beast. Yeah, that, th this one. I love this one. I do. She's running great, man. Really is. So I'm going to put this switch back in the Marauder real quick. Make sure all the windows work. Because we were having some issues. Uh, sticky switches, guys. Very common. The switches were getting sticky where sometimes they'd roll down windows. Sometimes they'd lock. Sometimes it would. So I took the switches apart. And I cleaned everything inside. Put it back together. See how it does. Well, we fixed almost everything. This window is functioning properly. This window is functioning properly. This window is functioning properly, which that one wasn't at all. This window will go up, but when I hit the down button, it still doesn't want to go down. So I think I may have... Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Yeah. There we go. 
Okay, good deal, man. The locks are working again. Good deal, man, good deal. I'm gonna leave this sitting here running for a while. We got everything running right now except for the Cavalier, and I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that Cavalier out for a little drive if I can find the, uh, if I can find the uh, plate. I've got it on, uh, there's the key, and I've got the plate on the Cadillac. Man, I can't wait to clean this car up. What? Clean this car up. I hope that it'll start running a little better. So I'm going to leave it sitting here running for a while too. Let's go put a tag on this. Let's take it up and down the street. I like to keep this car running and driving because it sat for so long. It was just acting really weird. You know, it was running bad. I want to make sure we keep it moving. Still haven't decided what we're going to do with this one, guys. I'm uh, I'm still torn on whether or not I want to uh, get it painted and try to clean it up or just sell it as ooh there's water in the floor ladies and gentlemen great there's what where the hell would the water come in at the seals look good look at that <sighs> Yeah, this car is going to turn into a damn mosquito's nest like this. Ooh. Close that door. Ooh. Hey, there's mosquitoes in here already. It's only this side, only the driver's side. I'll bet it's something to do under the hood there. I bet you money. Let's get this thing out of here. Hope it doesn't get stuck. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Let's pull it. Uh, let's pull it over here. And pick TK up. Go for a. Uh, go for a little spin in the Cavalier, guys. What do you think? Let's do it. All right, guys. You can see it. It dries fine, but man, the thing is just ugly. The inside is ugly. The outside is ugly. I don't think I'm gonna spend any money, really painting this or anything i just don't, i don't think it's worth it guys i know a lot of you disagree with me uh you want to see this old car saved but it's the way i see it this old car is already saved putting a paint job on it cleaning up the dash headliner you're just throwing good money after bad you're never gonna you're never gonna see a profit on this car the more money you throw into it the more money you're just wasting at this point if somebody needs just a good reliable a to b car this is it this is the perfect A to B car that you could buy real cheap. So then I'm gonna talk to Weird Beard and see what he thinks. Obviously, I'm gonna clean out under the uh, cowling under there so we don't get water pulling up on the floor. I know that's where it's coming from, real common issue. Get that water sucked out, and uh, I think we'll send it down the road, guys. With that, let's get back to the house. All right, guys, I'm risking life and limb here <laughs> to show you this snake. Man, I don't know if this is the same snake that was in the house the other day, but look at this. Whew. I don't, I don't really want to touch him. No, nah, I think it's just a rat snake. Look at that. He's a good sized snake, though, huh? He got caught coming across the road. Yeah. Run his ass over. Woo. Yeah, look at that. Roadkill. Yep. <laughs> We need to make a roadkill intro right here with that snake. You gonna do a burnout with the? I'll <laughs> do a the burnout on the snake <laughs> with the cavalier. Peter would be calling me. <laughs> okay, guys, look at them clouds, man. Dude, that's scary. Yeah, it's uh, those are those momentous clouds again. Those things are like indicative of tornadoes. I keep it's keep my eye on the damn it's, snake. You see how it's like starting to like roll? Oh yeah. Hell no. And you never know. <laughs> Back to the house we go. <laughs> now guys, I don't want to say too much about it yet because I haven't made a dedicated video, but I want y'all to see some because I've had a lot of people doubting what I'm doing. A lot of people think I'm just out here blowing money. And I, I promise you, I, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I don't want to get too far into it today uh, because I am going to make a dedicated video about what's going on here. But as you can see, uh, we have these flags and spray paint all over the ground. I bet you're wondering like, uh-oh, what is this for? Yep, that's correct. Uh, actually, 
Is it orange it's gas or yellow? I think it's yellow. Yellow flag. It says gas on the flag. On the yellow ones? Yeah. So I'm then the orange ones say, let me look. This is probably this is a phone line. This is phone line. Yeah, buried cable. Yeah. So that's AT&T. All right. That's the gas line so you can see clearly. And as you can see, we've got it flagged all the way back here, right? <laughs> uh, I'm not going to get too far into this, but why would there be flags all over the backyard? Because construction is beginning. TK, will you stand by that post over there? So you guys can see there's a stake in the ground right here, okay? So right here where TK is, that's another stake in the ground. Now walk down to that one and you guys can see the other stake in the ground there. All right, way down there is another stake and right here is yet another stake bingo so what you have here for those of you that don't believe that we're about to build a a good size shop i'm going to stand back and kind of kind of show you here all right picture this dirt road there's going to be an approach an approach and it's going to go from about here all the way to there all the way back to where he is, all the way back. This is gonna be big. It's gonna be big, guys. I told you I wasn't messing around. So like I said, I'm gonna get into the Hellcat purchase, why I did what I did, why I'm throwing away money, why we're not building a shop. There's so many so many people out here seem to know what's going on in my business when, yeah, when I haven't told anybody a thing. I haven't told anybody anything. So the people comment saying they know what's going on. You don't have a clue what I'm doing, man. You don't have a clue, but I'm telling you, here in the very near future, we are going to have a very, very near future. This is going to turn into this. All right, have some imagination. I'll show you guys. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this video. If you can't tell, I'm sweating profusely. It is really hot and humid out there right now. I mean, like, it is bad. We had to move all the cars because uh, Austin and his buddies coming over tomorrow. They're going to trim some more of those trees out of there. There's a lot. Like I said, guys, I know you guys don't know what's going on because I haven't told you yet. But please, before you make all these judgmental decisions about me, give me an opportunity to come out with a video and explain what's going on. I'm just not ready to do it yet. I will present my video to you guys when I'm ready, not when you're ready. I apologize for those of you that that upsets, but hopefully you understand this is my life. And there are some things I'm not ready to release yet, but there is a rhyme and a reason to every single thing I'm doing. Yes, including spending the ridiculous amount of money, $68,000 on the Hellcat. Absolutely a reason for everything I'm doing. Trust me, guys, I've been doing this good this long. I think I know what I'm doing, all right? So with that, a lot of things happening over here, AAR headquarters, a lot, a lot. Things are, things are blowing up. Things are blowing, and I will come out, I promise you, I promise each and every one of you, I will come out with a dedicated video explaining the financials, the Hellcat, the new shop that's going on. I'll be explaining everything. You guys, just, all I ask is you please be patient and let me do it on my time instead of jumping in the comment section and telling me how I don't know what I'm doing with my business and my money. All right, I promise you, we'll get to, we'll, we'll get to the point where I will be able to share all of that stuff with you. Now, with that, the Cadillac turned out pretty good. I'm happy with the Cadillac. It probably needs a tune-up. We got the bumper pulled out kind of accidentally. Uh, the Mercedes got stuck. It's so dark I can't record for you guys. I wish I had the footage, but it's too dark. You wouldn't get any. I may have a clip or two maybe I can throw in. I don't know, but TK got in the Cadillac, and the Cadillac actually pulled the Mercedes out of a rut at least, I would say, 8 to 12 inches deep. Okay, on both wheels, the caddy just, and in the process of pulling the Mercedes out, the bumper to the caddy popped right out, guys. So the bumper's fixed now. It probably does need a tune-up. There's a few other little odds and ends it probably needs. I don't know if I'm going to be doing it, but stay tuned. There will be at least one more video on the, I almost called it a Mercedes, on the Cadillac. Meanwhile, the Cadillac, or the... I'm not, I'm, I'm done, man. Like, it's late, and I still got an hour drive home. The, uh, the Mercedes S500 decided to let the transmission go on the road down the street. So that's another thing I was dealing with on the way back here, trying to get the mud off the tires. The tranny went into neutral and stayed in neutral. I had to coast it, then I had to sh shut it off and, and, and put it in drive. Then it limped home at like 4,000 RPM in first gear. It, to, tonight was rough, but the Cadillac, I think overall is gonna be a good score for somebody. I do think we're gonna let 
the Cavalier go. I do. I, I think I'm going to get that water out of it, clean up underneath uh, the cowling, make sure that drain is clear. I think we're going to let the Cavalier go, guys. I just come up with a little more money and let go of some of the stuff that we're really not doing anything with and truthfully the stuff that nobody's probably interested in anyway. If you enjoyed this content, and I sure hope you do because I worked really hard, give the video a big thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a big thumbs down. Drop your comments below. I know we had a lot going on. A lot of stuff happened in this video today. So please remember to check out TK's Garage, uh, Lucky's Wheels and Deals, Melly's World, and don't forget me. Subscribe to my channel, man. Hit that thumbs up button for me. But go check them out. Links and 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 yeah, links in the. I gotta go to bed. Links <laughs> in the description and in the comment section down below guys i appreciate everybody that came out and hung out today it was a lot of fun if you enjoy this content give it a thumbs up if you want to see this type of stuff again you want to see a bunch more of us like together collaborating hit that thumbs up button man let everybody know that you enjoy seeing that kind of content if you don't hit the thumbs down and we can kind of judge by the thumbs up versus thumbs down what you guys actually want till next time everybody stay safe out there i will catch you all very soon in the next one